This is a 1995 Land Rover Discovery with the 300 TDI engine in it. It's just a front clip. As you can see, there is no rear end, there's no doors, there's nothing. Um, it's got very low miles, it's like 93,000 miles. I think it's 160 kilometers. And I'm just going to go over some of the differences between the V8 and the 300 TDI. Obviously being diesel versus gas. Uh, one of the main things that comes out to you right off the bat is that the transmission mount is a single bracket that goes across with two mounts on the back, which you can see left and right. Uh, the gas one just has the brackets going straight to it. This one has the brackets going to this main bar that goes across. The 380, the R380 transmission is different in its gearing, so you can't just use a gasoline R380. Uh, the exhaust is different clearly because you just have a single output as opposed to the V8 which would have two. The other thing that you'll notice is the motor mounts are completely different <clears throat> and as the way they mount to the actual frame. So when you put those on your new disco you'll have to either fab new ones or cut these off and remove your old ones, weld those on. Uh, I'm sure there's other differences and I just wanted to go over the quick ones that pop out. I also understand that the springs are different. But to my understanding, the differentials are the same. And there's quite a few other differences. We'll go over those later.